I think I first became interested in plant sciences when I was really young. I can remember getting in trouble when I was probably about three years old for taking apart the buds of daffodils in the yard to figure out where does that flower come from and what does it look like when it's scrunched inside that bud. Um, and I think that just continued through school. Like I've always enjoyed growing things. I've always had plants in my room at home, um, in my dorm room at college, in my office now and at home now. Um, I love eating plants, so I like to grow what I'm gonna eat. Um, I think they're beautiful and I just really like to have them around me. Um, so my name is Emma Nee and I'm working right now as a contractor with the Arabidopsis Biological Resource Center at Ohio State. You can definitely work in plant sciences with all different levels of education. I mean, part of the reason why I got involved in research was because as an undergraduate, I could do undergraduate research in a lab with postdocs and um, faculty and still be a part of that process, um, still publish papers, um, and you can, you can really be involved at all levels. Many labs will um, employ technicians who just have a bachelor's degree in, in the Arabidopsis Biological Resource Center where we work. We have people at all levels. We have students, we have people who have a bachelor's, people who have a master's, people who have PhDs, and of course faculty also involved. So my name is Eric Grotewald. I'm a professor in the Department of Molecular Genetics here at The Ohio State University. When I was a kid, I was very bo uh, bothered by the fact that there were so many hungry people. And I thought, innocently, that just growing more plants and making plants better would actually be the solution. So I became interested in plant sciences pretty much when I was in grade school. And we had our small plot that my dad would actually allow us to grow and we'd just be growing vegetables. And I said, well, that's what I should do in the future, is just expand the plots and feed the people. I went into chemistry, not sure why. My dad is a chemist, so per perhaps there was some influence there. And in chemistry, I did not learn anything about biology itself, but I learned a lot about how things work. Essentially, all those minute things of biology that ultimately makes the biology, right? When I started with my postdoc is when I started working with plants, particularly with corn. And I stayed at my postdoc for about four or five years before I became an independent investigator and had my own research group. And at that point, I could see how everything in biology is just a sum of chemistry. So suddenly my entire career made sense in the context of biology. And that's how I became interested in biology, but I still had that dream of continuing to work into plants. Uh, hi, I'm Gary Posey. I'm a greenhouse superintendent at Ohio State University. The most interesting part of my job is probably that it's actually two jobs. Uh, one, I get to, to work with plants and growing them and watering them and, and taking care of plants. The other part is uh, maintaining the building. I have to repair a lot of things mechanically. So the mechanical half and the, and the plant half kind of satisfies both parts of my brain. Hi, I'm Anna Alonso. Uh, I'm assistant professor in the Department of Molecular Genetics at The Ohio State University. I am also the scientific director of the Targeted Metabolomics Laboratory. The most challenging part of my job, I would say, is, is all the thinking. Um, you need to think ahead uh, to answer and to address big challenges. So we work, for instance, on addressing big challenges, such as um, how can we make sure that we'll have enough food with increasing population? How can we be sure that the food we are eating, all the crops that we are producing are healthy? Um, how can we be sure that in several years from now we'll have enough energy to sustain uh, our living uh, pattern. So what, uh, what is challenging is actually to think ahead and have the vision of what is the best for the next generations. My name is Courtney Price. I'm the Education and Outreach Specialist for the Center for Applied Plant Sciences and the Arabidopsis Biological Resource Center. 
So my advice to anyone interested in maybe pursuing the sciences as a career or even wanting to be like a science communicator or a science educator would be to really explore all the different opportunities that are out there. There are a lot of career paths that aren't obvious right at the get-go. Just ask people who do things that you're interested in and try to find out what opportunities are out there and experience them to see if they really are what you like. Um, and it's okay to think you want to do something, try it and realize it's not for you. Okay, my name is Katie D'Amico. I am a second year PhD student at Ohio State University. I work in the Department of Plant Pathology. I study forest pathology and I work on trying to better understand how trees defend themselves against pathogens. I think the most challenging part of my job is definitely time management. So I might have to come in at five in the morning to check on samples or come in on the weekends. Um, so just the, the nature of the job makes it so that it's not a standard nine to five. When I was younger, I was thinking that doctors, uh, surgeons, yes, they are helping people because they save lives, right? Uh, us as a scientist, we are helping, I'm thinking like we are helping the next, the next generation because we are thinking in problems that we may not face, but our kids or our grandkids will face. It can be really difficult to get through the process of completing a master's or a PhD, but if you are really interested in what you're doing and if you have that passion for the work, it will carry you through to the end.